information services and it's an aggregator of all sorts of data from local, state, and federal information. Mm. Um, and that was based on a patron suggestion that we purchased that, evaluated and then purchased that database. And what kind of information is on there? Oh, it's all sorts of things like foreclosures, marriage. So we should snoop. More, yes, right, no, exactly. Mortgages. I know who's sharing, who's sharing right. public information. Yes. 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 It aggregates a lot of okay. public data. Yeah, it's there anyways, but it just makes it in a little bit more convenient. Okay. Yeah. Right. And one, one, one stop shopping, yeah. I guess. No paying the $25 for whatever. Okay. So uh, the next page is our circulation activity. And just to point out that top line are the bags. So at that point, we had a, 193 bags. And it, uh, like, over, they went over more, they all turned over at least more than once. Or, well, the same bag could have turned over once. But you have a ratio over a one. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, is a pretty good ratio. That shows you how much it has gone out. The other top, top circs are our new and hot Blu-rays and DVDs mm -hmm. and our hot picks books as well, which kind of proves that people like to view things and they also like to come into the library and just they find that shelf with the hot picks yeah. and the books just That's really nice. very like convenient mm -hmm. to, to buy, to find things. Um, our electronic services, I actually found this very interesting because Reference USA, Ancestry Heritage Quest, those usually have such a high mm -hmm. usage and who knows why, but the, if you look at the, you know, the two genealogy ones, it's a significant decrease, especially in Ancestry. I honestly have no idea how to explain that. But the other ones that our usage is going up is um, we have Canopy, which are films, streaming films, and Hoopla, which is streaming music, plus mm -hmm. more. Those are beginning to um, pick up. So it's nice that our patrons have found those really wonderful mm -hmm. services. And some of those records are not every single one in those two collections, but they are now appearing in the catalog. So CCS is putting in those records for us. So I think that might be another way of helping patrons mm -hmm. discover that those services are there. What is Muzzy Languages? Learning all sorts of... It's for youth. Is it? Specifically geared. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Our, the adult side is Mango. Oh, okay. Uh, muzzy and Mango. Mango. But that was actually, that didn't have very much use either. No, no. It really didn't. Yeah. But the Mango, the adult one, yeah. has a little bit more. Because of the end of the school year, maybe? People are just, I don't know, yeah. studying or playing, who knows? Or it's a function so, of the weather, no rain. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. For the, the <laughs> e-books on our catalog, if it comes up, can you click right on it? Now it take should it be integrated, okay. yes. And it will also show up in your record that that's what you have checked okay. out as well. That would be for my media mom, correct? Right. Not for cloud library or... They're, yeah. they're getting there. Okay. I mean, I think that Particularly that... Particularly is my media mall at this point, which is looks like overdrive. Right, the right. overdrive. Right. Mm -hmm. So it sends you to overdrive? No, no. No, it'll... It, it comes... But in your record, you'll see that it, the record in um, the catalog does have a little overdrive symbol. It's a blue... And if if you think of overdrive in my media mall, they're one and the same, basically, for us. Okay. And it shows up in Libby, though. And Libby is the app that you use, use to access to the, my media mall, or which is Overdrive. And you can, yeah, and so you can do it either yeah. way, through Libby or just through the catalog. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. um, I think we can move on. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, committee reports. Um, Jan. What uh, what has Illinois been doing? Not too much <laughs> <laughs> lately. We are uh, in the ILA uh, advertisement as listed for looking for a director, so that has been out, but uh, doesn't have too much to do with what we're doing now. Uh, only one, two things actually. The first thing was I was just curious. The library board v violated Illinois Open Meetings. Ace on in God We Trust vote, and I couldn't pull it up, but Cynthia did for me. And 
This is just kind of a weird thing. They vi violated the Illinois Open Meetings Act by voting on a secret ballot last Wednesday. They voted on pieces of paper when trying to determine whether to put in God We Trust on the library building. The vote came back four to four. They'll have to vote again when all nine board members, members are expected to be present. But they did not make their votes known to the public. And that was the big mistake. And Who, they got What entity that. was it that didn't do it? It was um, Freeport. Oh, the library, okay. Mm -hmm. Freeport Library. And uh, the only other thing of any note is that we have some company from Blue Island, actually. Um, they had somebody drive through their front door, and they had to, <laughs> they had to cope with that, which they did in a timely manner, just as we did. But you know, it happened. So it was uh, Blue Island. Okay, that's it. Um, Finance Committee, Ron, what's your thinking on that? Um, we sort of talked about maybe having a combined meeting. Well, the question I is, mean, do we need... I mean, be two a separate meeting. meetings, one, not one meeting, but... Do we need a Finance Committee meeting before adopting the level? We can have one if we think it would be useful. Um, but if we do... We ought to be clear on what it is that we're trying to determine. Um, so that's that's the question I, I'm raising in that regard. Is, is if if we need one, we can do that. We have uh, time set aside for that possibility next Monday, the 30th, at 7:30. Um, we also have some other things that are competing for that attention or could be done sequentially. So we just need to make a decision as to how that should be posted, whether it's a meeting of the Finance Committee or whether it's a meeting of the Board as a whole. The issues might be different. So we need we just need to make that call and determine what you want to do I blocked out that time at our last meeting because we designated the possibility of having a meeting at 7.30 on next Monday, but we didn't specify at that time what we would use the time for. Right. Well, my thinking is that maybe the meeting in the levy is somewhat premature. That um, when, when do we adapt the levy? November? Oh, actually, we... Uh... We'll do it in October. October, but do we well, usually get posted? We, we for thirty for When do we get the audit? We usually it's sort of around the we same do time it after the audit, after the preliminary audit. Right, and it seems to me that we usually that usually comes in in September or early yeah, October. Yeah, that we usually, if we want to discuss the levy and how it fits in, that maybe we should wait. To the audit is done. Well, we usually do a proposal. We, we do proposed levy and then a final levy. Right. So I'm we not. We usually do the final levy after the audit. Right. It seems to me that at this point we don't know what we would be talking about on the levy. I mean, we know the budget. We've adopted the budget. We've adopted the appropriation. But we maybe we should put off the levy discussion, the finance committee, on that uh, for a bit and use that time that we all have on our calendars um, to continue our conversation on plans for continuing the, you know, interviewing of candidates and how that process would work and be able to have a discussion on that and that we could use that time instead. Does that that's my you thinking. You want to post it as a committee of the whole, focusing yes, on the search? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the director. That I think that makes sense in the you know, from the point of view that that's probably the most important issue that we currently have before us. In I would say to fellow board members that this is sort of a planning thing and if if it doesn't work for your schedule, that's okay. But, you know, as opposed to today, which I think was really 
important to get a lot of yeah. feedback. Right. But why don't we try and have a meeting at 7.30 on Monday and try and, as a meeting of the whole, committee of the whole, in closed session to continue our conversation on the candidate the director process yeah. for those who can make it and just continue just working on that just a little bit. It might not be a long meeting, but I think that would, I think we would help us get our thinking in order on that. Okay, so mm -hmm. Cynthia, if you could do that and remind us all too, <laughs> as you always do. But you don't have to feed us this time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just left so. over cookies. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. We go over cookies. Yeah, yeah. They'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They made the same one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> left, 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 left over cookies. Right. Yeah, yeah. Those will be gone. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they won't? Okay. Oh, they won't? Okay. 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 So, <laughs> so the finance committee instead will be a, you know, a board meeting. Okay. Okay. Closed session to continue. You want the, you want the close. Yeah. And it's yeah. Monday? Yeah, Monday. Um, is that, information is items. Monday? Is that work, and does it work best for everybody at 7.30 on Monday versus early in the day? I assume 7.30 works best, but that's what we think. Um, evening is fine for me this time. Mm -hmm. I actually have a morning commitment. Okay. So. Um, board minutes. Audit committee. How are you doing, guys? Um, trustee. Johnson and Trustees Barsha's. Uh, Jan, have you had a chance to? No. Okay. <laughs> this is the first. First, I, yeah. yes, right. I don't remember actually appointing you, but obviously I, don't I yeah. did. Oh, no. <laughs> she did. Huh? <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. So, um, remember that the, all you really need to do is certify that these sure do look like minutes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And the signatures look okay. Um, you have the packets ready? Yes. Sorry? Are they ready to be reviewed? They're ready. Okay. What, do we come in for it? You want to do it tonight? We sure. can do it tonight. Absolutely. Okay. Um, okay. Um, drawing your attention to information items. I also want to draw your attention to a letter in your packet that didn't get included. Uh, with your letters um, uh, with respect to the landscaping. Um, oh, sh um, shall <laughs> Kudos for doing what you can to deal with the traffic going through the village parking lot. Uh, see whether that, has that helped? Um, Gail's shaking her head no. We have a vantage point from up here. Oh, and from yes. up, you know, and you can just glance out and see that some people just aren't seeing the signs. I don't know if they're not positioned correctly or people just are oblivious, but people are using them as a thoroughfare. What? It is through traffic. Yeah, they okay. are. It's not a through street, but it is. It right. is. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. It is. right. Well, at least at this point, signs have been posted. Right. So that's no, a big improvement. Definitely appreciate that the village did that. If they wish to enforce no, that, right. then they, yeah. they yeah. will need to have someone here. Right. Right. Where are the signs? It's, it's violated. There's is it, at least there's it's one there the and two there. The 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 right. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, the other option was that the village offered was to talk to the management company right. of the development so that the word gets out to their uh, residents mm -hmm. because of the, some of that cross that through traffic is from the development. Sure, garage. sure. Mm -hmm. So what might the fine be? <laughs> I assume there's a you know traffic violation if you use it as a through street. Well, happy to man the book bike and stand there. Right, right. right. <laughs> yeah. Well, people yeah. are, are also very used to dropping off mail. Right, right. And then coming back mm -hmm. through. Right, I mean, right. they've just, I mean, I've done that myself. But there are now signs. Yeah, now there are so signs. Could be, right, right, right. You know, mm -hmm. But the signs are wrong. The village did respond very quickly, mm -hmm. and we appreciate that. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Any... Thing anyone else wants to mention? Any new business, old business? Um, hearing nothing, could we get a motion to adjourn? So moved. So seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 What's that, Rogers and Wolf? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we better, we've got our musical coming out next week.